when it made landfall, it made landfall as what we would address a very strong typhoon. It was almost the violent category, but that means it had winds around about 100 miles an hour sustained, that's right now, so more than that, and gusting up to 170 miles an hour. So this is the latest satellite picture. You can see it's stuck right over the northern Philippines, the islands of Luzon. It hit Aurora province when it made landfall around about midnight UK time. Now, a lot of that cloud has sheared off to the west, but believe you me, that's quite a ferocious beast under there developing all the time. And I'm going to run what we call the rainfall sequence here. Now, this is through today tomorrow and into Tuesday. Look how it just doesn't move. So although the winds will start to gradually diminish now, those destructive winds, now that it's made landfall, it's interacting with those mountains, the wind speed will start to decrease. The rain takes until Wednesday to start to move away. So that's, well, about 72 hours worth potentially of rain across Luzon. Remember, this is a tropical system, not one of those we'd see across the UK. So there's so much energy, so much moisture in that system. There's the potential that it could unleash a 1,000 millimetres of rain possibly even more, perhaps 1,500 millimetres of rain potentially before it finally clears away. That will cause severe flooding, huge impacts from this storm. Of course, we've still got some very big waves to come lashing onto many of the shores around Luzon because it's so slow moving. There's still a bit of a concern for Manila because of tidal locking. That's when the winds are backing up the river, if you like, here, because there's a lot of rain to come down into those river systems. Still currently gusting around about 150 miles an hour. That will ease the rain will become the real issue with severe flooding, Gavin, and potentially, of course, mudslides to go with it. So I think we're going to be hearing about this storm for a while yet.